Just close your eyes. Just take a couple minutes and check in with your body, see how you're feeling. If you're noticing holding in any tension anywhere, any tightness. If you are just on the exhale, just try to relax and let it go. Focusing on anything that you no longer need pain or stress or tension, confusion, fear, anxiety. Breathe it out down through your body, down through and out the bottom of your feet. Relax your shoulders. Let your arms just hang at their sides. Relax your forehead, little muscles behind your eyes. Your face, your jaw, your neck, your chest. Breathe in deeply. And as you exhale, sink even more deeply into your chair. Relax your stomach, your lower back, your arms, elbows, your forearms, your hands, your pelvic area, your thighs, knees, shins and calves, your ankles, <clears throat> top of your feet, and finally, the bottom of your feet. Breathe in deeply, allowing the oxygen to flow through every part of your body. And exhale back down and out the bottom of your feet, anything you no longer need. Feeling very relaxed very comfortable, very safe. And I want you to imagine a beautiful, warm, white light in the very center of your chest. And as you continue to use your imagination this light grows a little bit bigger, covering a little bit more, getting bigger, filling your chest with warmth. This is the light of the divine, the light of your higher self. And as it spreads, it completely encompasses your heart healing any old wounds, any own pain, any grief. Just allow it to wash over you, moving into your abdominal area, your back, up to your neck, down your arms. Just feel that warmth Use your imagination and watch that white light grow even bigger, going down your legs, down your ankles, 
down your feet. up to your shoulders and neck, your face, the back of your head, and the top of your head. So that now every inch of you is filled with this beautiful, white, warm, healing, loving light, sealing up any and all Swiss cheese holes, healing your heart, healing your past traumas, helping to make you more whole. I want you to think of a family member or a loved one who's caused you pain, whether in the past or the present. Just imagine their face in front of you. We ask that our cords be cut, cords to those past traumas, unhealthy cords to this loved one, so that we are both free from any lower energies, hurtful feelings, difficult emotions. As you still see their image in front of you, send them your love. As you say to yourself, I cut the cords of attachment and I release you in love and light now. Taking a deep breath. And so it is. Now imagine another family member, loved one, who has caused you pain or difficulties in your past or present. See them in front of you now, in your mind's eye. With a deep inhale, you can say to yourself, I now release you. I cut any unhealthy cords of attachment. I send you off with love and light. Take a deep breath, feeling lighter, feeling freer. I want you to imagine another person, a family member or a loved one, someone who's caused you pain or hurt in the past or the present. Imagine them standing in front of you right now. Notice what part of your body might be tightening up. If you have any tension anywhere when you think about this person, that is where the cord is. So as you look at this person in front of you, you can say 
to yourself. I now release you. I cut the cords of attachment that no longer serve us. I send you my love. I send you my light. Breathe in deeply. Feeling that cord cut. That part of your body relaxes even more. As they walk off into the distance. <clears throat> if there are any more family members or loved ones who have caused you pain or hurt, bring them into your consciousness now. Try to feel in your body where that cord might be. Any place tenses up or tightens, that's usually a sign that there's a cord there. Imagine the people in front of you. And again, say to yourself, I now release you. I cut the cords of attachments that no longer serve our highest good. I send you my love, I send you my light. And then watch them as they walk away. Feeling lighter, feeling more relaxed, feeling safe, feeling your energy coming back to you. Focus again on that white light. Focus in on the center of your chest. And we ask that white light to heal any parts of us where the cords were cut. And we ask that those holes be healed with that light, with that love so that those unhealthy cords of attachment never reform. Taking a deep breath. Now in this state, I want you to ask yourself what is the biggest thing I can do to share my love with my family members? What can I do to show love for myself and love for my family members? Take a minute and listen to the first thing that comes to mind. What can I do to show love for myself and love to my family members. What can I do to show love for myself and my family members. I want you to come into a place of feeling gratitude for all the people in your life, all the people you have a connection to, family members and loved ones. You can thank them for 
supporting you. You can thank them for showing you how you can support yourself. No matter how much harm someone does to us, we still want to walk away with a sense of gratitude. Maybe for lessons that we've learned, or for being stronger, more independent, more loving, more caring. So the people that we just cut cords to Think back to reasons to be grateful for them to be in your life. What have you learned by being in these relationships? How have you changed? Taking a nice deep breath. Feeling so free and so light, unburdened. Knowing that you're not abandoning anybody. You're just removing the things that are unhealthy. Thus freeing you both. Another deep breath. Wiggle your toes. Slowly wiggle your fingertips. And when you're ready to come back fully, you can open your eyes.